What up everybody, it's Martin Sosa. I want to try something a little different with this episode of Peak Your Mind. I'm out here on my morning walk and I wanted to shoot a video for you guys on why you need a morning ritual and how to create one. You know, this is something that has made a huge ass difference in my life and for the longest time I heard a bunch of experts and stuff talking about, oh, you need a daily ritual, you need a morning ritual or, you know, I recently read this article on, you know, what the most successful people do before breakfast. I was like, oh, that's cool. But it wasn't until recently they actually started applying it and adopting this habit and reaping the benefits of it. And it, dude, it is, it's made such a difference in my life. And that's why I want to share this video with you, kind of break down some of the steps to creating one. Uh, and hopefully you get some benefit of it and you apply it and you, and you get that same benefit too. So I want to share it with my homies. But what I found is by kind of adopting this habit and doing some research is that there's some trends among like the you know a lot of CEOs and successful people tend to start their days in the same way and a lot of them on average wake up at like 5:30 in the morning and they get, they get more done in their mornings than I do in my whole day I don't know about you but I'm the kind of person who <laughs> I like to hit the snooze button like 20 million times and wait till the very last minute until I'm like ah, and then I have to get up I'm like okay fine you know what I mean so you know, I never thought I'd be one of those people who like, oh, I'm excited to get up early. And at first it wasn't like that at all, but after really enjoying it and feeling good and starting my day off right, um, you know, it's it's so much easier and it's so much more enjoyable uh, once you do get those benefits. So, so just to break down, what are some steps you need to take? You don't have to wake up super early, but what are some steps to take to create a daily ritual to start your day off right and to stay productive through your day, to, you know, stay out of a slump and to really consciously decide how you want your day to go and to enjoy it fully. You know what I mean? So the first thing you want to do is you want to move. You want to do something active, moving your body physically, either going on a walk, a jog, a run, a hike, something where you're moving. And this goes back to the how to master emotions video where we talked about you know how body language dictates how you feel. It's the same kind of thing. As you move dynamically, you feel you start to feel good. And and it really sets you up for the next steps. And the next step you want to do is you want to focus on gratitude. And the real benefit to that is as you focus on gratitude, I, what I like to do is I like to think about all the things I'm grateful for and really focus on them and feel them. Like I'll think about, you know, I'm so grateful for my family and so grateful to be happy and to be healthy and to have the opportunities I have, to have the friends that I have and, and just all the blessings in my life. And I really like to focus on that because what that does is it kind of creates this lens of gratitude and as you go through your day and as you interact with other people and yourself and, and just your experience of life, you're seeing it through this lens of gratitude and it's so much more enjoyable and fulfilling as you do that. And the next thing you want to do is you want to feed your mind. And the reason this is so important is because it's so easy to stay negative or to get into a funk or a slump or something you know with all you know the news and all the crap they pump out there so what you want to do is you want to feed your mind some good shit and what I like to do is I like to do affirmations there's a few different ways to do it I like to do affirmations specifically I am statements you know I'll, I'll be on my run or on my walk or something I'll be you know I am blessed I am loved I am handsome I am intelligent you know I'm you know whatever it is whatever you want to adopt and and as you do your affirmations just while we're on the subject is you really want to make sure you feel it and you own it and you believe it because a lot of times with affirmations it's so easy to just be like oh, I am and you don't really you're like fuck that's not true you know what I mean you don't really feel it and believe it so you want to if you do that if you decide to do affirmations own it believe it feel it and if you do <laughs> if you don't live in the middle of nowhere odds are there's gonna be other people around there's some lady you know with a stroller and her baby right over there um, and they're probably gonna be like, dude, like this person's a weirdo. But you have to honestly just not give a shit. You know, as you go through your thing, just don't care. And, and uh, a quick little tip on that is, if it is kind of a thing, because I remember when I first started this, I was like, I'd be like out there, I'd be like, I am, and I'd notice somebody like, <clears throat> oh yeah, the song's really good. <clears throat> you know what I mean? <laughs> but you just have to not care and just do your thing. And um, if it really bugs you, the best way to do it is put some headphones in, get some tunes bump in, and just tune everything else out. So that's one way to do that. Second way I like to feed my mind is I'll listen to some audio books or some audio tapes or a speaker or something, something where I like to put good stuff in. I honestly believe like garbage in, garbage out, good stuff in, good stuff out. So just feed your mind some good stuff to build yourself and to develop intellectually and whatever else, you know, whatever you're interested in, just to kind of get your mind going. As you get your body going, you get your mind going. And the next thing you want to do is... I know this sounds kind of hippie, but if I have time, if I have a minute, I'll go chill into this tree over here and I'll kind of envision and visualize how I want my day to go. And, you know, I'll kind of do like the stress rehearsal of walking through how I want my interactions with people to be, how I want to, you know, feel and experience as I go, what do I want to get done, and 
a lot of times, it's really weird, but a lot of times my day actually goes how I envision it. And it's so freaking cool. And obviously there's unexpected things and there's challenges and stuff like that, but it's really cool. And, I, and I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. And just simply adopting this habit has made, honestly, just an epic difference in terms of feeling good, getting stuff done, being fulfilled, and, and being the best version of myself. So one more thing I want to I wanna touch on real quick before I end this video is that you know one of the biggest excuses that people make in terms of not starting a daily habit or not doing this is like, dude, I don't have time for that. You know what I mean? I got all this other shit to do. But I can tell you that was my excuse too and I can tell you that just taking a little bit of time, it doesn't have to be a long ass time, just a little bit, maybe 15 minutes just to yourself to have that me time to fill up and to do something quick. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be these crazy intricate steps. But just something simple that gets you going, you know. Let me. I'll tell you a quick story. I was watching this uh, interview on Oprah, where she was interviewing Steven Tyler, and it was kind of this day in the life. And how he wakes up, how he starts his mornings off, is he'll wake up every morning at like the butt crack. And dude gets up early. He gets up really early, and he'll go up and he lives on this lake house. And he goes up to a second story balcony, and he'll scream at the top of his lungs, and he'll jump into this ice cold lake. And I was like, dude, that's badass. You know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be intricate. You don't have to do all these steps, but just do something that gets you going, that gets you excited, that gets you started, that, that makes you feel alive and awake and really kicks your day off right. And I'm telling you, it's so valuable and just taking that little bit of time for yourself is gonna make the rest of your day so much better. So I just wanna shoot this video for you, hopefully you get something out of it. If you do decide to adopt a daily habit or morning ritual, or whatever it is, then let me know how that goes for you and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.